In this next demonstration of Combustion 4, I'd like to discuss the character generator and text tools available to the combustion artist. First, let me explain that I've already created a 3D composite with several different types of media imported and placed on individual layers. In the perspective viewport, we can easily view and navigate and adjust the relationship of all layers in True 3D space. To create a new layer, I go to my object menu and choose New. Now I can create a text layer, particle, edit, composite, or paint. Choosing text, I make sure all of my formats match exactly, and then just say OK. Now this viewport is at the text layer level, while this viewport is still at my composite level. There are several different ways of entering text with inside of Combustion. I'll start by just entering some text inside of the text editor box in the lower right corner. Once my text is entered, I see it in the text layer view. I also see it in the composite view. Let's take a look at the tools we have available. There are four different modules available to control your text and character generation. At the basic level, we can adjust the font size, baseline, letting, tracking, and slanting. All of this is keyframable. All fonts that are on your Macintosh or Windows machine will be recognized and available to you through our font list or a font browser. The font browser allows us to preview all of our font styles. We can even enter desired text in the font browser and enable the preview option, which then as we select each font, our viewports will update with the new font that we've selected. We can center the font and work with different directions. On the Attributes tabs, this is where we control the face, the outline, and the shadow properties. We can easily adjust the color and keyframe it if needed. There are also softness sliders and opacity sliders for each text element. Going back over to the workspace panel, notice that if I expand my text, every single letter is available to me. Each letter is a vector-based object, just like any other object you create with inside of Combustion's paint tools. If we wanted to place a gradient inside of our text, it's very easy by accessing the gradient controls, adding several tags, and creating the gradient that we so desire. We can also very easily add textures or video clips and place them inside of our text. By activating the outline option, I now can change all the properties and parameters of my outline. Everything that I was able to do to my fill or my face, I am able to do to my outline also, such as gradient, texture, and softness controls. On the layout controls, I have options and parameters such as the write-on slider, which allows me to animate each letter appearing on the screen. I can very quickly create credit animations or lower thirds. On the advanced controls, we have variation sliders for your baseline, your tracking, your rotation, and your scale. Making an adjustment with any of these and starting your playback, you can see how we can create a very fast and quick animation. All of these settings are obviously keyframable. If we wanted to place our text on a path, we can very easily choose a path option. You can see the path starts off as a straight line with three control points. But we can add as many control points as we wish to create any shape off of this path. There is also a path offset slider to animate and control the offset along the path. There is also a character rotation slider. If we want to place it on a loop, we can do so very easily and make adjustments of any kind to the shape and keyframe all of this over time if so desired. I'll animate the path offset now to be from zero at the first frame, and then at the last frame, I'll set the path offset to 100% to create a complete perfect circle of the text around the path. Just like everything else inside of Combustion, this is a non-destructive workflow. So if at any time I wanted to change any of these parameters, I can very easily do so. For example, if I go back to my basic controls, I can change or increase the font size so so it fills my path completely. I can even change what the text reads and build libraries of different font effects to reuse and repurpose. I'll now go back to the composite level in both viewports, leaving one of them in perspective viewport and one inside the camera viewport. Being that my text is an individual layer, I can very easily select that and adjust the layer parameters so that now my text will actually be rotating around the globe. 